Aloha! Welcome to part 4 of Mega Man X3. And I'm still going through Volt Catfish's stage. And I chose to skip the ba the battle with the mysterious Maverick earlier. Uh, don't worry, I can always come back to fight him as long as I haven't killed all 8 Mavericks. So as soon as I'm at the last Maverick, I'll come back to uh, settle the score with our mysterious enemy here. Instead of going through this open hole, keep going up. Because there's a heart tank here, and heart tanks increase our health, so we're going to need it. Uh, it's pretty hard to get, if not impossible, unless you have the air dash, so uh, make sure you tackle Blizzard Buffalo stage before you get this heart tank. Bolt Catfish's stage is filled with a whole bunch of turret-type enemies that, uh, they love to put up this electric shield that won't go away until you blow the hell out of it with your X-Buster. It can get pretty tiresome and pretty annoying, but, uh, it's not too much trouble. There's also a Dr. Light capsule here, and a sub-tank, but I can't get either of those without the proper equipment. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for that. Oh shit. Here's Bit. Welcome, X. I'm Bit. I have my orders. You are to be destroyed! Um... I thought Dr. Doppler said to keep me alive if possible. That's not your orders, asshole. Alright, like I mentioned earlier, Bit is weak against the Frost Shield, which is great because he's the first Maverick I took on, so I was always going to be prepared for this guy no matter what. Uh, he dashes at you right when he's at high level with you, so you have to jump when he's in midair, and he will dash in midair so he can jump over you when you land on the ground. But it's also pretty annoying to do because he also shoots all kinds of projectiles that move along the ground. So jumping can not be possible if he hits you. If you frost shield him enough though, he's out. This Reploid's special abilities are too... And no, it can't be! And Bit is dead. I am not kidding, he is dead for good. We'll never see him again. Well, we'll see him again only because I want to show you the stuff ever... Only because I want to show everybody the other side of this game, but, you know. You can kill Bit and Bite right off the bat if you use their special weaknesses. And this this counts for the Mysterious Maverick, too. Later in the game, we're going to go to Doctor's Lab, or Doppler's Lab. Doctor's. Uh, we're going to go to Doppler's Lab, and uh, there's going to be boss fights there as well. And they change depending on how you handle the Bit and Bite battles and the Mysterious Maverick battles. And, uh... This is the first, unlike X2, you can only scare them off and beat them that way, the X-100 leaders. But in X3, you can actually kill them for good and never see them again. Thanks to the encounter with Bit, I was really nervous, I didn't want to get hit. Then I saw energy, and right when I tried to go for it, I got cocky, got hit with energy, and died. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> So yeah, Bit won't show up again, but uh, I'll explain what's going to happen uh, with him and Bite dead, assuming I kill Bite. But then again, I'm the Great Clement, and if I were Mega Man X, I wouldn't let any Maverick live. See, I'm not the kind who believes in, in uh, innocent until proven guilty. I believe in guilty until proven innocent. Anywho, this is Volt Catfish. He's weak against Tunnel Rhino's uh, drill weapon. And just like uh, Toxic Seahorse, what you want to do is he'll try and jump into you, or at least jump a certain direction. And you just want to spam the drill, which also stays in midair for a short period of time before it starts moving. This is pretty much a recreation of the Toxic Seahorse battle. The only difference is, around half health or so, uh, Volt Catfish will rely on doing these moves in the middle of the room. And at that point, he'll just jump up straight up into the air. And all you really have to do is stand there and keep spawning the drill. Not very difficult, not very challenging. Volt Catfish is not a guy you want to worry about. But uh, if you don't have his weakness, holy shit, he's one of the hardest Mavericks to fight. Because <laughs> he sends electric, electric energy balls all over the place, and I could never dodge it. To take him on without his weakness, to me it's suicide. I know people can do it, but for me it's it's... I don't know how you do it. It's too fucking extreme. Anyway, that was Volt Catfish. 
by defeating him, we get a very useful, not a shield attack, but it feels like a shield attack because it kills everything around you. It's the Tri-Thunder. You get three energy electric balls circling you, and whatever you run into until it disappears, they pretty much get obliterated. It's a very fun weapon. It's great for taking out enemies that uh, are just too stupid to defend themselves. So now we're going to be taking on Crushed Crawfish. Crush Crawfish's stage also has a whole bunch of heart tanks, uh, sub tanks, and a mech armor part, but I can't get any of it because, again, I lack the equipment necessary. Hey, Mega Man X, and it's backtracking. I despise it. Again, I guess I could be playing a better order, but uh, this is the only order I know. I don't play X3 as much as I do X1 and X2, mainly because I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it because it's too damn hard for me. When enemies hurt you so badly that you have to dodge every attack, it just gets very tedious after a while. In my opinion, anyway. Oh, guess we're not fighting Bite! Again, it's completely random when they drop. Uh, sometimes I actually fight them, like, in a row. I'd fight Bit, and then the next level I go to, holy shit, it's Bite! There's actually a, a hidden floor here, and, uh... Boom! It leads to the Mysterious Maverick, so this is actually another place you can fight the Mysterious Maverick. But again, I'm not ready for him, I don't want to fight him yet, so we're going to move on. I want to be prepared. Blech. I want to be prepared for this Mysterious Maverick. Because he seems like a big deal, since if he looks like who I think he is, I'm guessing he's going to be tough. Other than that, though, uh, Crush Crawfish's stage is pretty... Uh, pretty short. And I don't know what this place is supposed to be. I think it's a submarine. Because as soon as you destroy this power generator, boom, 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 all of a sudden the whole level goes vertical. This would imply that maybe it's sinking now, but maybe we're in a jet? I mean, we were up in the sky earlier, but then when we went down, it seemed like we were in a submarine, so I don't know where exactly we are. If anyone else does, do tell. He's <laughs> crushed crawfish, so I assume it's a submarine. I digress. We're already there. Crush Crawfish didn't take much time. The level's pretty short. Weak against the Tri Thunder, but even with the weakness, he's actually fairly difficult to defeat. The reason he's fairly difficult is because he doesn't have a same like weakness pattern like everyone else does, where they just do the same thing over and over again. He seems to do whatever the fuck he wants after he gets hit. Um, he'll, sometimes he'll send out this one claw in a diagonal direction to attack you, and it hurts like hell, and it's very hard to dodge for me, I guess. He has to shoot these, and I died. Like I said, not very easy. Uh, he also shoots the orange attacks that would go up the walls, so if you're sticking to a wall, not a good idea, but again, again, you have to dodge the diagonal claw, and he runs into you, he dashes all over the place, Again, they hit so hard that that's why I died. He grabs a hold of you and he can take your health down pretty damn quickly. I'm not gonna lie, I hate fighting Crush Crawfish unless I'm at like full health and full armor and stuff. But I am neither of those things, so I despise it. I almost died again. <laughs> Shortest level, hardest Maverick, in my opinion. Well, Volt Catfish is if you don't have his weakness, but uh, you get the idea. Crush Crawfish still pretty much kicked my ass. And I have no shame in saying that. I, I admit it, he kicked my ass. But then I came back, threw sand in his face, kicked him in the balls, and I still won the fight, so whatever. I'll play dirty, I don't care. By defeating Crush Crawfish, we get a nice little... odd attack called the Spinning Blade. You shoot two blades out forward, and instead of going the full way, they turn around and go backwards, with a huge range, and uh, yeah, it's all good. I'll see you in part five.